Hello, my friends. Welcome, welcome. I have with me one of my honorable alumni. This is Brittany Savage. Brittany, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank Brittany, you. tell us, you got certified as a PMP. When was that? That was Juneteenth, 2020. So oh, my goodness. A year ago, a year and six wow. months ago. Yeah. Wow, wow. And another huge, huge thing I'm, I'm proud about you for, Brittany, is you wanted to do PMI's esoteric new exam that no one had even really thought about as at January 2020, you know, like yes. way back. Yep. Yep. You and wanted to then, do that crazy exam. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, um, but they changed it. They, they put, well, they kept pushing it back, pushing the start date back. Um, and then they just stuck with, stuck with their like current exam, you know, with, you know, COVID and all. So, right. Yeah. And you ended up doing it. So you you were preparing for an exam that was meant to be more agile. And then PMI said, no, 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 not yet. We're still going to do the same old predictive. And then you you ramped up and then you did that one, got yep. certified. And since you got certified, Brittany, two other things I'm really, really proud about are one, you started coaching, training and helping people to be PMP certified. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes. So thanks to you, actually. I mean, you were the first person that gave me the opportunity to kind of coach and train on some of your boot camps after I uh, passed my PMP exam. So I realized that I just loved doing that. And even actually when I was a student in your class, I used to help other my, my fellow students out like in the chat or, you know, just facilitating study groups on the side and just kind of taking that leadership role. Um, and I realized that I really loved doing that. And even if it's not teaching, um, you know, project management, even if it's just mentoring and helping and coaching someone on the side to get through kind of that mental block, because that is a thing too, um, in prepping for the exam, uh, I, I love doing it all. So oh, lovely, lovely. So what we're going to do, Brittany, we're going to put some information below for those folks who are struggling and would love to reach out to you for you to help them with their PMP prep, with their mindset, maybe helping them go through some of the topics. And um, one more thing, I mean, this is, a, this is a, a rarity, so allow me to brag for a little bit on you. But Brittany, very recently, you conducted training for a well-known client. Who, who was that? It was the Department of Defense. <laughs> yeah, the um. DOD. Yeah, I was I was blessed and um, lucky and in the right place <laughs> at the right time uh, to land a contract, wow. uh, my first federal contract with the DM, with the DOD. Um, and I presented a four hour training um, on customized training to their needs and what they were going through at the time um, on project management for work life balance. Wow. And so I created a curriculum completely from scratch based on, you know, the scope and, and their requirements and, and what they needed. Um, and then I also had to tailor it because that class was about 25 participants or so, all different expertise levels, some novices to, you know, project management, some didn't even know what it was, some experts. So yeah, it was, it was actually really fun and taught me a lot. So I'm wow. excited to keep doing it. Wow. Wow. Brittany, I give you my full applause. And just to help people know how to get you involved in their programs, you could develop curricula for people who are looking to do something similar, right? Yes, that's correct. So I would just need to talk to you about whatever situation or whatever, you know, the requirements are um, and work with you to develop some sort of curriculum, presentation. Um, Phil knows I love to create creative presentations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a creative at heart, so I love that. And um, also, I just wanted to say that it doesn't necessarily have to be what you would conventionally think about using project management for. So don't be afraid to think out of the box. <laughs> and um, I'm not, so <laughs> that's what you'll get working with me. <laughs> awesome stuff, Brittany. So let's let, let, let's re, rewind for a bit. You got certified in June 2020, and by 2021, you are delivering training that is not even PMBOK guide strictly just, I mean, some people say, okay, it's easy to just go. No, you built this from scratch, but it was after you got certified. So would you say that the PMP has added value to you as a project manager and as a professional? Immense value, immensely. Um, I am able to 
think about, because I know the science of project management now, I'm able to think about it um, in terms of a broader perspective and not just how, you know, it applies to my work um, day to day as a project manager, but also like how it applies to, you know, your personal life at home, um, your community life, your community events, churches, um, mm -hmm. project management is really happening all around us, but it just, because we're not in a work environment, sometimes we don't kind of make that connection. Um, so PMP, I mean, I, I can't say enough about how it's paid off for me. <laughs> so far. Lovely. Uh, yeah, I encourage anyone to pursue it, to keep pursuing it. Lovely, lovely. Thank you, Brittany, because I have a lot of folks, and you know, because we belong to the, the Phil's Bosses group where we have people working on PMP. Uh, some people have fallen by the wayside, to be honest, and are no longer uh, actively pursuing PMP. Do you have any piece of advice or motivation nuggets for them before we round up? Yeah, I would just say to kind of think about your reason for even wanting to get the PMP in the first place um, and always come back to that. And I would write it on whatever type of paper you have, write your goal or write your reason why you want to get the PMP, write it and put it somewhere where you can see it every day. <laughs> so it can remind you because we are all human. We'll all fall off the bandwagon sometimes, but it's just important to remember why you started so you can get back on because you have to get it. You need, you need to get it. There's no other option. So <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There's no other option. Look, Brittany, thank you so much for coming on to drop some gold for our viewers here. And uh, we're going to put your information below and to everyone who's watching. Thank you. If you want to reach out to Brittany, just go on down to the link below and uh, reach out to her. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you. Bye.